Serena Williams taking on Naomi Osaka for a place in the Australian Open final. A massive match to mark the return of fans at the tournament following Melbourne's five-day lockdown. The two players have been in scintillating form at the event, both losing just one set en route to the last four. Game Williams. And while it was Serena that started off better by breaking Osaka's serve in the opening game, the Japanese would come back strongly to take the first set, 6-3. Osaka won the pair's last meeting at a Grand Slam, the now infamous 2018 US Open final. She won the second set 6-4 that day and did the same on this occasion. Another win for the 23-year-old over her illustrious rival, who she now holds a 3-1 record over. I was just really like nervous and scared, I think, in the beginning. Um, and then I sort of eased my way into it. And for me, I think the biggest thing is just um, having fun. And it's the first day having a crowd in a while. Just made too many mistakes there, and easy mistakes. Not like they were, I was on the run or anything. They're just easy, easy mistakes. I don't know. If I, if I ever say farewell, I wouldn't tell anyone. So. <laughs> so. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Osaka will be up against the USA's Jennifer Brady in the final. A rematch from the last four of the 2020 US Open. Brady came up short that day but has been impressive in Melbourne, beating Karolina Mokova in three sets to book her spot in the final. Despite complaining of an abdominal injury throughout the tournament, Novak Djokovic is now just one win away from a ninth Melbourne title. The Serbian star, who's not been training between matches because of his fitness issues, made short work in his semi of the tournament's surprise package, Aslan Karatsev. Djokovic beating the unseeded Russian 6-3, 6-4, 6-2. This is best as I felt uh, in the entire tournament. I mean, uh, felt great. The world number one can expect a much tougher test in the final, where he'll face either Daniil Medvedev or Stefano Tsitsipas. Sohail Malik, Al Jazeera.